Hello, my name is Colin Overway. I'm the founder of Advise Wealth Management. Welcome to the team. I wanted to walk you through in this video how to onboard yourself and input some information into Right Capital, which is our monitoring and planning software. Start out, of course, by entering your email and creating a password. Enter your name, date of birth, and the state that you live, and do the same thing for your partner or simply delete if there is no additional client. Go ahead and enter the amount of your gross or before tax base salary. And for most people, we can leave the other assumptions the same that this income already started and it's gonna stop at your retirement and that we can increase your salary at 3% per year. Now, if you have any additional compensation, such as a bonus, go to add income and you'll be able to find your other type of income. So, and you can see that bonus is a very popular one. It's underneath other. Again, most of the additional assumptions you can just leave as is. And if you have any equity compensation such as RSUs or restricted stock units, we're going to add that in the net worth section. Underneath the savings section, try to find the appropriate account, account to which you're saving to. A popular savings account is the 401k with an employer. You can simply select a percentage of your salary if you know you're contributing, for example, five or 6%, or you can select an annual dollar amount if you happen to be maybe maxing out the account at 22,500 for the 2023 tax year. The next section is talking about your employer match. Oh, oftentimes I'll see a 100% match on the first 3% of your contributions. A lot of times I'll often see an additional match where they match 50% of the next 2% of your contributions. If you're unsure about this, that's okay. I'm going to ask for your employee benefit package and I will go through all of this stuff together. A lot of times I'll see clients maxing out some type of backdoor Roth IRA. Go ahead and select the appropriate account and just do your best to be as accurate as possible. Next is the net worth section, and this is the most important that I want you to do, is to link as many accounts as you can. Bank accounts, credit cards, 401ks, or any other investment accounts. You'll then be prompted to find the account in which you, the custodian that you use, your bank account or your 401k. Do your best to find as many institutions that you work with as possible and link them accordingly. Right Capital uses 256-bit encryption so you can ensure that your data is secure. Also, Right Capital is only using this to uh, account for balances. You cannot make financial transactions, so you don't have to worry about withdrawing money using Right Capital. And here's a quick hint. If you happen to use Betterment, Wealthfront, or any app-specific uh, accounts that are maybe a little bit more uh, mobile native, you may notice that the, the account is going to ask for an app-specific password. If this is the case, you're going to need to log into that institution, go to your settings, security, and then find where it uh, shows the app passwords, and you're going to have to generate a new app password and use that as the password. Once you plug the password in, you'll be able to sync your accounts. Don't worry about how the accounts are titled or what the returns are. We're going to go through that stuff together. The last kind of tricky onboarding section in the net worth section is under property. Whether you rent or own, please click on property and then add your monthly rent. Or if you own, you'll be prompted to enter some more information. On to section five, expenses. You can either enter a total number of monthly expenses under the simple approach, or you can do a detailed worksheet and enter in as much information as you can. Lastly, you'll be prompted to the goals section. First one, of course, is going to be retirement age. Go ahead and click whatever age in which you want to make work become fully optional. Next is going to be to, to choose your retirement monthly expenses. I encourage you to just pick for now the number that you came up with using the expense section on section five. From there, just leave the retirement health and long-term care situations alone for now. And if you wish, feel free to add any additional goals. If you wanna pay for kids college, you wanna buy a car, go on additional vacations above and beyond what we entered on the retirement expenses, etc. And once again, we will be going through this information together. Great job onboarding with Right Capital. I can't wait to get started on your financial plan.